is Chuck with the BMW Blog, and in this video, we're going to unbox the BMW Flexible Fast Charger that comes with your BMW iX. We are going to see how long it is, and then we're gonna plug it in and see what kind of speeds it can provide. This is actually what comes with the car. Uh, rest in plastic wrap, it says one stuck, one piece. There is a little, it says waterproof cover. And initially I was kind of somewhat defeated by this because I couldn't figure out how to push a button and get it. Uh, but instead, actually, it's just this simple cap here that you peel off. It's just a rubberized cap that you peel off right there. And it eventually pops off. You just lift it up and it will expose this piece here. And you can see the connector right there. So here's a, a bag. Nice uh, carrying bag there, a little zip. And it looks like it's got, now this is the connector for the 110, uh, sealed also in plastic. Wow, this is significantly different uh, than one came with our BMW i3, which let me grab that for a comparison. This is what came with the BMW i3. So quite a bit different. So again, the BMW i3 here, and this is the new iX charger. It is wrapped rather tightly in this plastic here. So won't bore, with, bore you with how I get that off of there, but so once I got all the plastic off, there's a big old massive zip tie there. Snap that sucker off. You can really see how stout this wire is compared to the BMW i3 charger. I mean, this is just nothing compared to the thickness of this thing. I mean, this, this looks like it can handle quite a bit. We'll look up and see how much it can handle, but oh, here you go, maximum of 40 amps, 9.6 kilowatts. That's, that's impressive for a charger that's included in a car. Before we hook it up to the NEMA 1450, we need to actually connect the 1450 adapter to it. So we have the rubber, the waterproof cover off of it. And so you can just see how it winds up with the pins right there. There's a series of little pins right up in there. And there's some little pins right there. So should line up it's pretty straightforward. And then there's a nice little purchase there and it's connected. So, so what we're doing now is measuring this thing to see how long this is. Unbelievable, really. I have, no, must be right at about, oh, there we are, about 20 feet. Right there, um, I have some bend in the cord. So I would say it's about 20 feet long. So here's my NEMA 1450 uh, plug in my garage. That's plugged in. We'll see if there's any lights on this thing. Yes, that is so cool. Look at that. So now let's plug it in. There's a cap on the top of this right here. Again, another weatherproof cap. I like how it's connected here. To charge it, fairly straightforward. Open this massive flap here and you'll see two AC DC labels. You push on the gray tab, it'll pop the AC open. If you wanna fast charge it, you push both tabs at the same time or sequentially. So we'll see how it hooks up here. You have a nice little color here that's indicated it's gone from orange to blue so that we know that we're actually charging. It's charging the vehicle right now, so it's a flashing blue light. Of note, I find it really interesting that the BMW i3, the front trunk, is where the charger is stored, and as small as it is, it's actually fairly useful that it's able to be stored up there. And in the much larger BMW iX, the front trunk uh, is not actually accessible uh, except for in like service mode and it's not actually useful for storage you actually have to get the BMW iX charger out of the trunk uh, underneath this little floorboard area here 
Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this video on the charger that's included in the BMW iX. It's really cool to see that BMW is now including a much more robust charger with these cars. And we would like to thank Baron BMW of Kansas City for the access to the iX for this review. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our BMW blog YouTube channel.